Hello. And hello. Thank you so much for joining me yet again today for another German reaction. I'm excited because today it's a fun topic. Six reasons German houses are built better. They're built different and they're built better. Or so I hear than American houses um, by American guy in Germany. Go check out his channel. Link down below. He deserves more subscribers. Go check out his channel. Um, yeah. Anytime I hear about like American houses, from what I've learned versus German houses, this is what I think of the three little pigs. Do you guys have this story? It's like a, I don't know if you'd call it a fairy tale. It's like a bedtime story. The three little pigs. One house built out of straw, next out of sticks. I guess that would be the American house. Then this one is the German house, the one built out of bricks. And I don't know, spoiler alert, this is the only one that survives when the big bad wolf comes and blows them down. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's what I think of. So six reasons. We got a long video. Let's strap in. Holy hell. What is this door meant to keep out? Or what are they trying to keep in? But seriously, this door is insane. Insane. That's what we need over here in America. I mean, with the Second Amendment and stuff, <laughs> we need like bulletproof houses. What the heck is that? I mean, are you serious? Look at this handle. That can't be normal. <coughs> oh, now the video is not going to play. Hold on. Okay. Come on in. Wee wow. Hi, Tom. The door is so thick. Dang, that is a thick door. Let me just put my backpack here. That looks like a door to a bank. Like the, the safe. Uh, in the cap. Wait, where's the closet? There is no closet. Uh-huh, okay. But you uh, can put it on the floor. I'll just put it here for now? Yeah. I'm actually kind of shocked. I would think, I don't know, the way I view Germans, I would think they would be like, no, you must put it in the closet over here. That's the designated area. We have built for the bags and the shoes go beneath them. This is kind of surprising. Let's check out the living room. Come on in. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The cool the house. Nice open space. Lots of light. All this light, I think. Whew, it's going to be pretty hot in the summertime. Actually, in Germany, it's getting pretty warm. It's warm, isn't it? It's Where's warm. the AC? Where's the AC? Right, because you guys do have heating. Where's the air conditioning? There's no AC. I'm afraid to say there is no air conditioning in German houses. You I thought this was six reasons they're better. So far, I'm like, no closet by the entry, no AC. The door is definitely better. Let's go in the kitchen and make a sandwich. It's over there. Okay. Is the kitchen? Yes, it's supposed to be the Weird. kitchen. Weird. There's a door to the kitchen. That's um, not normal here in America. Looking for the refrigerator, is it invisible? No, there is no. There's no train. Well, I mean, honestly, this whole house looks empty. <laughs> so. No. And where's the sink? There is no kitchen sink. And where are the cupboards? Look at the amount of outlets everywhere. Is that because this is the kitchen? You got outlets. Two, four, six, another one down here, seven. There are no cupboards either. No cupboards. Are you trying to tell me German houses or apartments don't come with kitchens? It's exactly what I wanted to point out. Oh my gosh. Well. Me... Where do you cook the sausage? Where do you cook the pretzel? He's turned the light on all the time. Why is this like lagging? Hold on, guys. My computer is, this is just too much. Watching a YouTube for my computer, that's too much to ask. Hold on. Okay. Well. And we've got another outlet up here at the top, don't we? Or do we? <laughs> I think we do. Uh, that didn't work. I'm afraid. I've never seen an outlet that high up on the ceiling. There is no light. No light. What? German houses don't come with lights? No, you have to buy them yourself. Well, what happens if I have to pee? Do German houses come with toilets? Yes, they do! Thank God. All right. Okay, so this is kind of odd. I'm just trying to think, I'm trying to interpret exactly what he's saying. He's saying they don't come with all these different appliances and fixtures like like lights. Like, of course, I mean, I say of course, but 
When I bought this house, this light right here, which you can only see the strings dangling from it, that was already installed. Ceiling fan with lights, already wired up, installed. So you're telling me when you move, you take the ceiling fans? Or you, do you have ceiling fans? You take the refrigerator when you move? That's a hassle. That's a hassle. I mean, you can do that here in America, but it's easier just because it's cut to fit exactly in that kitchen. Nobody takes their refrigerator. You just leave it for the next guy. Like, pass it on, you know? And then in your new house... Well, if you buy a brand new house, it's not going to have a refrigerator, but... Anyway. I'm skipping ahead, guys. I mean, that's an epic intro. Hello and grüß Gott and welcome back to my channel. I am Tom, an American guy living in Germany. Today we're going to talk about top 10 pros and cons of mm. German housing. Now, if you are new here, please make sure to... I can't help but laugh. The, the video said six reasons. I wonder why he changed it from 10 to six. Plop Maybe that he runs subscribe out. button down there to not miss any future videos like this. Definitely go subscribe to his okay, channel. Okay, just a bit of backstory. Upon graduating from college here in Germany, I moved into an apartment and I was flabbergasted at everything that was missing. There's so many things that we had to buy that normally would have come with an apartment or a house in America. In America, an apartment, you can buy an apartment fully furnished. And the first thing, or not buy one, but rent one. Thing, uh, that I'm going to talk about are the big things that are missing. In my opinion, the most used room in the house is the kitchen. And you won't believe this, but in Germany, the houses and apartments don't come with kitchens. Can you believe that? I couldn't. Luckily, at our first place, we had a really nice landlord. He had an extra kitchen in the basement, so we went and got that and installed it. He even helped us do that. I don't even know what that means. What do you mean you had an extra kitchen in the basement? We're very grateful for that. I mean, a kitchen is a big thing to install. There's a lot of different components to a whole kitchen. That saved us quite a bit of money because a kitchen can cost as much as a new car. You're talking about anywhere between 5,000 and 20,000 euros just for a kitchen. The next big thing that's missing from German housing or German apartments are closets. In America, closets are built in. They are simply yeah. into the floor plan. There's an extra part of the Okay. Man, I'm loving the video. I wish the music was a little quieter, but I'm loving it. The wall that's cut off and doors are installed. And there we that go. And a closet. Just slide the door open and you've got a ton of space to put your clothes. Oh, yeah. To put your boxes and anything else that you want to store. And that would be a small closet. Um, most American houses, at least in the master bedroom, you have a walk-in closet. You can walk, you can literally walk into it, get lost in the closet. It could be like another bedroom. Um, but in this house, my house is relatively small. It's got like small, I'm looking at the closet. That's why I'm looking over there. <laughs> it's, um, it's not very big, but it's there. But in Germany, they don't have built-in closets. That means that you have to go to Ikea or to your I other see. local furniture store and buy a closet. Oh they God. can be very expensive. And in my opinion, they are not as effective either as the built-in closets because they still don't have quite as much space. Because they're not as deep. That is so interesting. No closets. No closets built in. Is that true? <laughs> I almost... That, that is truly... Fa that is unbelievable. There's a lack of small things as well. It's not just the... I mean, I guess that allows you to configure your bedrooms exactly how you want it and where you want the closet to be. And so on that hand, it's nice because you're getting that extra square footage where the closet would have been. Instead, you just have more square footage in the room. Kitchen and closet. Most apartments and houses don't come with lamps either. You have to... Install lamps on the ceiling. Even on a used house. In the hallways, in the kitchen. You're telling me you guys take your lights and your lamps when you move. In the bedrooms, in the basement, you have to install lamps everywhere. If you're lucky, you may have just one single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> but for the most part, you have to buy all your own lamps. 
okay, maybe I can understand this. Everybody's got their own taste in lamps. Yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe everybody would like to buy their own, but it really adds up to a lot of money. And in American housing, the lamp... But the thing is, when you... That's the kind of thing you move houses. That house might be a completely different style. Like, it's kind of like the refrigerator. Like, I don't see a point in taking my lamps that are in the ceiling. Floor lamps is different, but the ones on the ceiling, like, I don't know. I mean, it's safe to assume the house I'm moving into already has them built in, and they probably fit the style of the house. So, I don't want to take these ones are just there and if you're lucky you'll even get <laughs> a ceiling fan with a lamp yeah um, which is also nice especially in the summertime when it's hot um, the second small thing that is missing from german houses <laughs> and apartments are curtains i it's my son's bedroom and he has a baby sized ceiling fan it's like this big <laughs> can't remember if american houses come with these or not oh come with what sorry that's hot um, the second small thing that is missing from German houses and apartments are curtains. I can't remember if American houses come with these or Most not. Most do. But curtains Mine did. can cost you hundreds of dollars just for each window. That's crazy. When we first... That is insane. Oh, wow, man. Who comes up with this stuff? Like, I guess I need to sell curtains. Moved into our apartment together. My wife and I, uh, she wanted to get curtains. And I said... Okay, let's go take a look. I couldn't believe how expensive they were. Just for some fabric. Point number three, stuff that's that missing is weird. from German housing are the lack of comfort features. And what I'm talking about are on the windows. That's why you guys are tough. Windows, for example, there are no screens. Can you believe that? These are beautiful houses. And you guys have to air out the house too. So you air out the house, it's just wide open. Don't the bugs come in? You guys just fight the bugs that are built here and the windows are really nice but don't come with screens so that means that anything from the outside can come in if the windows open come on in flies come on in mosquitoes come on in bees let's have an insect party and uh, the second comfort feature that's missing from German housing is air conditioning. So I made a video about the lack of air conditioning in Germany and I can kind of understand it. Electricity costs a ton of money here. It's like three mm. times as expensive as in America. There, oh my God, wow. The kilowatt hour costs 13 cents and here it costs 39. Honestly, 13 cents is bad. Mine doesn't cost 13 cents here in Indiana. Mine costs like seven. U.S. cents, so 39. Hell yeah, no, no lamps, no AC. <laughs> no, not for 39 cents. It's literally three times hour. more expensive. It probably just will cost too much money to run air conditioning. Plus, in America, we have no one has ever said that. I have I've seen people talk about the lack of AC in Germany. I've not heard a single person ever say it's because of the the cost of energy. That's interesting. But what if you had solar pa panels on your on your roof? Cuz I mean, it's it's possible to have a house that runs ent almost entirely off solar, so then and that includes the AC. Vents that go underneath the house to each room. Yeah. from the central air conditioning and the central heater and that, that way you can distribute the cold air in germany they don't have any vents so it wouldn't really work anyway okay i'm just about so do you even have a crawl space under my house or every every house you know i guess you do for the plumbing like if something breaks with the ac you got to go under the house at least you know sometimes to patch it up whatever <clears throat> done talking about the cons of the housing in germany and soon we're going to get to the good points the fourth thing is that because it's so densely populated in germany you have very tiny tiny mini garages and you have mm. really small yards in many well i don't even have a garage so i can't even say anything many parts of germany have you ever heard that expression hantu garden that means no. that the yard is so small that you could cover it with a beach towel. <laughs> now, maybe that's a bit of a... I would love that. I would love that right about now. I'm sick and tired of mowing my lawn. 
to just go be able to go out there with the lawnmower and go like this. Done. That would be great. <laughs> Hyperbole statement. But there are some yards that are really just that tiny. That is the reason That's it took funny. us so long to go in between our first apartment and the second house that we just got kicked out of because we always wanted space. The first house luckily had space outside and the second one did too. And our third... I'm sure if you go out in the country, you can get more land, right? Rental house that we're moving into luckily also has a yard. But many people do not share this luxury. And that is a shame. Now, if you live somewhere... I saw his question pop up. How do kids People play do not share this luck if you don't have a yard, which is an interesting question, but I can imagine it actually encourages kids to be more social, um, you know, collaborate together to play, like meet at the park, walk to the park, ride their bicycles to the park and play out there together rather than I mean, a lot of yards here in America are fenced off and it's, it's kind of isolated. Like it feels kind of isolated. You know, plenty of place to play, but no one to play with. <laughs> I mean, unless, you know, of course you make friends and you come over and they play in the backyard and stuff. You know, you know. Luxury. And that is a shame. Now, if you live somewhere out in the boonies in Germany, like in the sticks, sure, you got more. So you guys call it the boonies as well or no? Is he saying that like as an American? Because here that would be short for boondocks. More space. Basically where I live. It's but you don't have as many jobs there. And getting back to the garages, they're so narrow and slim that you can just barely fit the car inside. You can't open up the doors all the way. You have to just kind of open it up halfway and really? squeeze out. You can't let everybody get wow. out at the same time. What I do is have everybody get out of the car, then drive it into the garage, open up my door halfway and squeeze out. There's no more space than that. Wow, unreal. Unreal. And that is kind of annoying. You Th these are the kind of things that I could live with. I really could. Like, I don't need, I don't need, you know, all this extra room. But my wife, <laughs> my wife, I don't think she could do it. Like, that's how I, I vision, like, okay, if me and my wife and son moved to Germany, she would, having no AC and then having to squeeze into the car and stuff, these are the kind of things that certain people, when they live with it, I don't know if you could, it would be hard to live without. It'd be hard to adapt. You can forget about two car garages like you have in America. Mm. We've already talked about a lot of- Then again, I don't even have a garage, like I said, so. <laughs> cons about German housing, and now it's time to talk about the positive. And there's a lot positive about German houses and how they're built. And my favorite thing about German housing is it is built supremely robust. Very, very robust. I mean, super robust. The walls are generally about 40 cents. Wow, look at that lock. I'm a big door locking kind of guy. Every night before bed, I go around. I make sure all the doors are locked. I like that. I like to feel secure. Thick. They are made generally. I mean, and honestly, here in America, even if you lock your doors, they can be kicked in. I mean, the police literally do it. You can go watch, you know, it's not hard and kick in a door, even if, even if it's dead bolted because it's screwed into a wooden frame and it's a wood door and something's going to crack. So this looks pretty cool. Generally from brick, like cinder block. Wow. Or 40 centimeter <laughs> thick wooden walls. So, That's I amazing. Mean, that is just really excellent for the strength of the house and also for insulation. The reason that they need to build the houses mm. so robustly has also to do with the roof. They put these like terracotta clay kind of shingles okay. on top. They're super heavy. And because of that, you need a strong roof construction and a strong static. Oven. How often do you have to replace a roof? Because here in America, we use, you know, flimsy little shingles that fall apart blow away in the wind you're supposed to replace your roof like every 10 years the house in fact and I, it's expensive i think that the german roofs and they've got to be 10 times stronger than an american roof because if you look at the rafters that we have in america they're like this thick and they just abut to each other like this it is it looks like a dollhouse and in Germany, they're like this thick. 
Wow. To wrap up, <laughs> German forces are just strong. They're robust. And so Germany would survive nuclear fallout. <laughs> if stuff starts to go really bad in the world, it does seem to be going crazy. You guys know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh. With everything going on, it's like, damn. I kind of wish my house could survive anything. And I appreciate that. Point but more seriously, like... It's interesting, just as far as storms and stuff. You know, American houses, if a tree falls on it, <laughs> it's it's gone. Like, I could go, man, I wish I could take you guys with me right now, right up the street. Tree fell on a house. The house is in half. Number two, which is really cool about German houses, is a lot of them have floor heating. So you walk no on tile shit. floors or wooden floors, and for the most part, I think it's really... That's a huge luxury here in America. I've never seen it. I can't believe that. You guys live with that luxury? That's so funny. You don't have AC, but you have heated floors. An advantage to have this floor heating, especially in the winter time, you can walk around uh, in your socks and your feet don't get cold. Talking about floor heating, did you know... So you guys are all right with being too hot, but you don't like being too cold. You got the heaters, you got the heated floor. You don't like being cold. But being too hot, you, you're all right with that. Okay. Well, that most Germans, all of the ones I know, don't wear shoes in the house. I know that a good number of Americans do wear shoes in the house, and in Germany they don't. So since they're taking the shoes off, floor heating is really excellent in the winter time so that their feet don't get cold. Okay, the third- That's definitely a 50-50 kind of thing. Like, some people wear shoes in their house. I don't. Point that I really appreciate about German houses, and I touched on this just before, are the- And honestly, it is kind of rude to just walk into someone's house without at least asking if you should take your shoes off or just take your shoes off. That's a polite thing to do. Roofs, and in particular a- But some people will be like, no, don't worry about it. Sichtagstuhl. And what that is, is like an open roof where you can see all the rafters. You can huh. see all the wood in the general heck? that's needed for the roof. Whoa. And it just looks super duper pretty. That is really awesome. This would be covered up by, you know, we have an attic here in America. Is there no attic here? That's straight to the roof. Mo almost every house here in America has an attic. Wow, this is beautiful though. I'm a fan of wood, and these roofs can just really be beautiful. Also, the advantage of these Sichtagstuhls is you have a lot of space up, so for a taller wow. guy like me, it's nice to just have all this space upwards, like three or four meters, awesome. And three or four meters, so that would be like 10 to 14 feet kind of thing. That is high. Who needs an attic anyway? All you do is put stuff up in your attic and forget about it. So I would much prefer to have the space upwards with a Sichtdachstuhl. It is interesting because he showed a picture of an attic. You know, this is what an attic looked like here in America. It's just filled with... What the heck happened? Hold on. Okay. Anyway, American houses, the attic just filled with insulation. You know, they're so... The, 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 the roof is so thin. The beams are so thin. The horribly insulated so you have to insulate your entire attic that's a big thing for the efficiency of your house i would much prefer to have the space upwards but you guys don't have that problem stool. okay kind of touching back on a point of the quality of the german housing the windows are super high quality they are generally triple paned which helps keep out the noise from the street and also keeps the house of course, the noise from the street. I should have guessed that. That's the most important thing. You got to keep out the noise in your German house. Much better insulated in the summer and the winter time. And they don't feel like they're going to break when you open them. These suckers yeah, what are the? really strong. Dude, that's the craziest thing still. Time. Seeing that window. And they don't feel like they're going to break. <laughs> and that is for airing out your house, right? That's what you would do. That's so cool. And But then it can also twist and open and it looks very well built 
very robust. It's not creaking. Any window in this house here, in my house, you would probably struggle to open it. First of all, there's a good chance the window has, hasn't been opened in decades. Any given window. Now I have opened a couple of windows, but it's a rare event. Usually when I catch something on fire in the kitchen. But if you do try to open it... Did I unlock it? Did I... And then dust flies in the air. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even exaggerating. Break when you open them. These suckers are really strong. When I open up the windows in America on those plastic tracks, the newer type windows are all on plastic. I think, oof, I better be careful that I don't break it. Don't have to worry about that in Germany. This reminds me about something that Germans do. They, um, before a meeting at work and after a meeting at work, they will open all the windows in the room and stoßlüften, which means to let in fresh air into the room. And I did not know you guys did that at work. Like, obviously, you have to do it in every building, huh? Hold on. Sorry, guys. That was my wife. <laughs> I had to block her. I thought I already had her blocked. She keeps interrupting my videos. But I had to block her again. You know, because you can't be interrupting my reaction. Anyway, that was like the third interruption. I am very sorry. This is not typical. <laughs> Let's continue. I have to go back five and seconds. And Oh means? yeah, okay, they do it at work. That is so fascinating. So in like a boardroom or a meeting room, they'll open up all the windows before and after the meeting. So funny. Never heard of something like that. It's to let in fresh air into the room. And also my wife does that in the mornings after waking up. Every and morning. In the evenings before going to bed, she'll open up all the windows wow. in all the bedrooms to let fresh oh, even in the winter air in i've never seen this in the states do people do that in america we never did and maybe no. it's because it's climate controlled with air conditioning or with yeah. heat. but i think you need circulation right or else i don't know mold or something it could also just be that people don't think about airing out their house and they do in germany i have i definitely had never thought about it. give germany some real good praise for their energy efficient construction. I touched on this also in my um, video about no air conditioning in Germany and the fact that instead of having air conditioning, the Germans just build much more efficiently. If a normal house takes a certain amount of energy, they will actually government subsidize a house that takes only 55% of that energy or 40% of that energy with a government subsidy up to 18,000 euros. Oh if you God. build a house according to these standards, they're called KFW 55 or KFW 40, you will get 18,000 euros upon completion of construction for each domicile. And I think that's awesome. I'm really delighted that the government is pushing high efficiency dwellings. It's good for the environment. It's good for- So is he talking about how efficient they are as far as how insulated they are and or efficient in the actual building of the home your pocketbook that you don't have to pay as much for energy and it just makes sense okay Why not so it's the efficiency that? as far as insulation and stuff okay i haven't seen much of a difference in the construction of houses in america in the last 50 years and i wonder when that's going to change all right, point number. I'm pretty sure they just do it as cheaply as possible. Then it's your problem. <laughs> you know, they'll sell you a house. They'll build it as cheaply as possible. And then from there, it's your problem. <laughs> Six that I think is really cool about. Germany. They don't care if something's going to break in 10 years. Housing is how innovative they are too with heating systems. So in really old houses, actually, you'll see a wood heater, a wood stove, and people will actually still heat with wood. Okay, that's unusual at this point, but it still does happen. Hmm. Then the next technology is the oil heating. You've got these huge oil tanks and an oil heater. Never seen these things. Never in my life. That will heat up the house. The so how much oil you got to be buying? You got to refill those jugs? Like what, you go to the 
You go to the store and buy a big jug of oil? Never heard of this. <laughs> Got these huge... Look at that. So where is that located? Oil. Is that under the house? Doesn't look like it. Tanks and an oil heater that will heat up the house. The third thing that has come about recently is a pellet. Why have I never heard of... People just use natural gas here in America. Heating system. So you just take these little tiny pellets, which are normally uh, actually discarded from construction. And they, they press these pieces of wood into little pellets, and then you can heat with that. So that's a really efficient use of this extra wood material. That's pretty cool. I've never heard of either of these heating methods. I mean, here in America, you don't have to worry about your heating or even how it's powered or whatever. It's just until if something goes wrong, you just flip it on, flip it off, and it works. Um, but it sounds like you guys, you're, you guys are like, yeah, we, we got to get some more pellets or some more oil. It would be kind of, I mean, it's just a small thing. I'm sure it doesn't take much time to do but it's interesting mm, and the government kind of cool subsidizes these pellets as well uh the fourth type of heating it's called a luft vama pumpa an air warmth pump what it does is it's a big kind of device that sits outside it looks like an air conditioner and what it does is it pulls all the warmth out of the air and pumps it into the house what? now these are really inefficient in the winter time when it gets too cold, mm. but it's still an interesting technology. And the last- But that's when you need the, the warmth the most. Someone who has one of these needs to explain how that makes much sense, because it stops working very good or it's very inefficient when you need it the most. That's kind of un unfortunate. And the last one that I want to mention is the geothermal pump. So what they'll do is they will drill way down no way. into the earth and they will actually do um, a heat exchange with the temperature down there and pump that into the house. What? How that exactly works, I don't know yet. You're going down to the earth's core and getting heat from there? <laughs> but I plan- Y'all are nuts. I mean, it's in a good way. <laughs> to research it in the future. Whatever the case, the last three that I mentioned, the pellets, the Luftwärme Pumpe, and the geothermal uh, heat pump, those are really cool things. New technologies that I think you don't need are very interesting, and I would like to see something like this hit America as well. Hey guys, as a little bonus, I want to show you what our new kitchen looks like. Come, let's take yes, a look. please. Here we've got a little microwave. Okay. They're not cool. that big in Germany. Here we got a little stove. Most microwaves here in America are like crappy and made of plastic. You'll notice a turkey is hardly going to fit in there, but it's a nice stove. That would be called an oven here. We've got a dishwasher and a sink. Look at that sink. Weird. Two separate cylinders. It's just completely different. There's nothing... <laughs> There's very little that's similar about that sink design to an American sink. An American sink would be like a big rectangle in the kitchen with a separator in the middle and two different places to put the water. Here we've got these. It's very pretty, you know. Cool cabinets that Look open at that. up. Then we've got here <laughs> our uh, oven that we cook on. No gas. He called the other thing a stove and this an oven. Gas, unfortunately, <laughs> in our town, so we can't cook with gas. Finally, we do have, ta-da, an American fridge. Hey! I am so delighted about this fridge. Usually, Germans will have fridges that are built in kind of like this. You see how this microwave and yeah. stove are built in here? Or this right here, this dishwasher is built right in. They will have... That was cool. That was very well hidden. A fridge is built in like that too, and they're way smaller. So this big honker. Oh yeah. That's my baby. But if they're built in, how do you take it with you when you move? You literally take the entire kitchen with you? 
can get ice out of here. Or is this just because it's a new house? Can get water out of here. The kids have so much fun using this fridge. That's gonna do it for th You gotta give it to the Americans. We know how to build a big ah uh, fridge. <laughs> Get water out of here. The kids have so no matter how big or small your fridge is, it always just fills up, or mine does. It's always just full. So much fun using this fridge. That's gonna our fridge is actually small. Mine, because this is a relatively small house. Our fridge is only it's a lot smaller than that one. Almost half as small. And do it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I say Fiatzeich and ciao. <laughs> awesome. That was a great video. Whoa. American guy in Germany. Go check him out. Thank you so much for watching. That was a long one, fellas. I hope you guys are having a good day. <laughs> I did it again. Um, yeah, have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you want to for more German reactions. You know what it is. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.